Look at this land. Vast, savage, and beautiful. This might be Arizona or New Mexico when outlaws and cattle barons fought over it. The outflung frontiers of the Old West when the vigilantes struck unmercifully in the name of self-made law. But this is Sicily, 1951. Here, outlaws are called banditti, and the cattle barons are land barons, an ancient nobility whose brands are coats of arms resting upon crumbling walls, palaces, churches, and even upon the very soil itself. And here, the vigilantes of the Old West the self-appointed enforcers of law and order are called Mafia. To understand Sicily, you must know that the barons still own the land, that the overseer still runs the tenants, that sharecroppers still work the soil, and the Mafia still guards the law. For this is a Sicilian story. In these arid hills lies the ancient feudal domain of the barons of Monte Alba. So the soil's no good, is it? The only things that will grow are weeds and lizards. I've listened to that story for 10 years now. Why, well, you even saw it for yourself. When one has the will to work, the ground here can become a garden. What did you say that tenant's name was? His name is Diego Costa, Excellency. Diego Costa. The others could all learn a lesson from him. And you too, instead of repeating that you don't have the proper tools and machinery, you don't have the will to work. That's what's the matter. And these three boys of yours, instead of wandering around with their guns slung across their shoulders, they might try getting to work. My sons have to look after the fields. It's my interest they have to look after, like the other one does. What did you say his name was? Costa. Diego Costa. All right, go to bed now. No, I'm waiting for Tony. Diego, you try and tell him. Where's Tony? He went to lock up the stable. I wish Tony had never taught him that awful instrument. <laughs> We're lucky to have him around. You know, we never would have gotten the olives picked if we hadn't had him to help us with the work. Diego, the stable door needs to be repaired. Tony, listen how I can play. Bravo, fine. <laughs> Another bed, eh? I guess it's time for me to. Good night. Good night, Tony. Good, Good night. night. What do you want? You're Diego Costa, aren't you? What do you want from me? You'd better move out of here and fast. You're not wanted around here anymore. Away from here? Yes, and fast. Make it tomorrow. I'm just telling you as friends for the time being. As friends? With your faces covered. This way you'll be sure to understand what will happen if you don't obey. We wouldn't want to come around tomorrow and find you still here. Understand? Don't move. You get back. You'll pay for that. We're giving the orders here. That's not true. have never given orders here. And you never will as long as we'll be around to protect honest people. I don't need to see your faces. I'm warning all of you. Don't ever try to threaten any of these people again, or you'll pay for it. Now get out. Out! Francesco, God must have sent you to us. Uh, even the good Lord dislikes injustice, Tony. God bless you. Thank you, Don Francesco. We never hope for your protection. Oh, we protect all honest people. I've seen what you've done with the land. Very good. They scared you a little bit, eh? No. Who are you? A friend. A friend of your father's. He's your only son, isn't he? Yes. You must think of his future. I'll help you. In the meantime, why don't you buy this land? How can I do that, Don Francesco? I don't have any money at all, and besides, the Baron would never sell it to me. Why not? He's a good man. I'll speak to him about it. As for the money, don't worry. 
One can always safely give credit to you. You're so good, Don Francesco. How will I be able to pay you back? Don't worry, you'll have time. Good luck to you, Diego Costa. What's your name, son? Eduardo. Uh-huh. That's a good name. The Mafia will protect you. All of you ought to be ashamed of yourselves. You've done your best to ruin me. You've got the Mafia against me. Now they're helping him. And what are we supposed to do now? Sit and twiddle our thumbs? The last word hasn't been said yet. We'll make them pay for this. You'll do nothing at all, you stupid fools. What are you trying to do, start a war around here? I'm the overseer here. I'm the man who's responsible. The Costas will be at the festa next Sunday. You'd better be friendly to them so we can patch things up. Welcome to you all. I'm glad that you could come to our little festa. Oh, look, Papa, what a cute little rabbit. You like it? He brought it for you. Give it to your Eduardo. Thank you, Donna Maria. Won't you sit down with us? Thank you. Come along. <laughs> Pour out some wine. Donna Maria, allow me. Shall we dance? Yes. Come, go on. Let's go, then. Don't forget, he only eats lettuce leaves. I'm going to put a ribbon on it. You better hold him by the ears or else he'll run away. Your hand is shaking. Should sleep more at night. And you should talk less during the day. Thank you. I only drink with my friends. Diego Costa, Excellency. Diego Costa. Ah, oh, yes, 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 that is personally no, but I know who he is. A very good farmer, an honest, hard-working man. Exactly, hard-working, and he deserves a reward. Mm, certainly, certainly, I see, I see. Must I, uh, that is, you have some suggestions? Excellency, I propose, uh, this is merely my suggestion, that you sell him the land he's been renting. Ah, an excellent idea, of course. It is understood that he will pay for it. Of course, of course. Besides, if you think he deserves it. Yes, sir, Costa deserves it. Then I'll certainly do it. You can rest assured. I thank your excellency for having understood me. Don't mention it. Good day. Excellency, let's go. Have a good time.
Excellency, for the honor you do us. <laughs> the pleasure is mine. I've come to wish you well, you and your families. May Our Lady of the Mountain bring us a good harvest. <laughs> By any chance, is uh, Diego Costa here? I'm here, Excellency. Go on, see what the Baron wants. Go. Ah, uh, good man. I've noticed how well you work your land, and I thought now there's a man who deserves a reward. For just a little money, I'll sell you the land. It's an idea that just occurred to me on my way over here. Thank you, Excellency. You're more than kind. Well, I only hope they will let us work in peace. Why should you think anyone would want to stop you? I'm always here. Your Excellency is far removed from such things. You don't know what may happen. Ah, those who do their work honestly needn't be afraid. Well, that's a law that's not worth much over here. I'll always see to it that you're protected, even if I'm far away. I really didn't hope for so much. Oh, it's nothing. Eduardo, give the young lady the violet. Say thank you, Elena. Thank you. Well, that's that. You have my word. May the example of this fine young man serve as an incentive to you all. I am always ready to reward those who deserve it, if, if I know about it, of course. <laughs> thank you all. Thank you. Goodbye. We should really thank Don Francesco. Now you'll see some farming, Tony. Oh, first, we'll have to fix the house. Oh, yes. <laughs> You're an exceedingly lucky man, Diego Costa. We'll be good neighbors. Tony, I'll take your horse. Yeah, sure, I want to go sure. see the lawyer right now. Sure, go on. And me? You go home with the boy and a Tony. I want to go with you. How can you? Oh, no, it's like we did the day we got married. Uh, sure, why not take her along? <laughs> Eduardo, you're coming with me. Let's go. Come on. No! saddle. When the horse felt their weight pressing this into his hide, he went haywire. It was meant for me. It was my fault. Why did I ever allow them to get on my horse? These will be felt again by someone. The Mafia will avenge this. They'll pay. Don Francesco, what about this farm? Don't worry. The Baron keeps his word and I'll keep mine. This land is Eduardo's. And one day, when he's grown up, he'll come back and find it improved. Because you'll care for it. Grazie, Don Francesco. But the boy, no. He must go away. It's too dangerous for him. Remember, it will take a long time for this to be forgotten. Eduardo. Are you ready? Come on. You'll be in good hands in South America. You'll be with an old friend of your father's. Does the ocean go all the way to Argentina? <laughs> of course. All the way. And you're going to ride on a big ship. So come on. Goodbye, Tony. I'll be here waiting for you, Edward. Yeah. 
years passed, crime and violence increased. Oppressed by poverty, young men from the large coastal cities made willing recruits for a life of crime. Knowing that the Mafia stood as a symbol of law and protection in the minds of the people, these killers and thieves adopted its name to themselves. Thus, Sicily became a battleground. On one side stood the old force known as the Mafia of the Mountain, ancient, proud, and unshakable in its concept of right and wrong. Opposing it was the Mafia of the Valley, cruel and ruthless. This was the Sicily that young Eduardo Costa was to find when he returned. Tony. Tony. Eduardo. Who would ever have recognized you? Anyway, I recognized you the first minute I saw you. Uh, really? No, 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 no. I'll carry that. <laughs> Only the Baron knows that you've come home. I didn't tell anyone else. Why? Tell me the truth, Eduardo. Why have you come back? Why? What are you thinking of? Well... You don't think I've returned here to stop an old feud and stir up trouble? Well, no. I've come back because this is my birthplace. To see you again and Don Francesco. Oh, and Stellina. Stellina. Oh, Stellina. Uh, she's grown up to be a beautiful young girl. <laughs> Besides, I'd like to talk business with the Baron. And to visit those who aren't anymore who have been waiting for me. <laughs> like you did. <laughs> Good morning. We've come to see Don Francesco. Uh, this is Mr. Costa, just arrived from Argentina. My dear boy. Uh, after so long, I was afraid. Afraid of what? Afraid that I'd never see you again. It would have been a shame because you've grown up to be like your father, as I hoped you would. Well, I came back from America just to see you. Oh, and Tony, too. He says he wants to go back. Why, I have to. After all my work's over there. Yes, of course. Naturally. His life is there now. Look, Don Francesco. I am indebted to you. My father's debt and my own. Now I can repay you. I always knew that I could trust you. And the Baron. Are you still giving him ideas? Advice? <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, no. Not very often. The Mafia's weak now. Tell me, how do you find things? Hmm. More or less like I remember it. As if everything had remained just the same. The same? No. The rocks are just the same. The poverty is the same. But the people go on. They've changed for the worse. In these few days, you'll see it too. The people are afraid. Don Giro, couldn't we reach some agreement? Agreement? You just keep doing what I tell you to do. But I've already made a contract for that week. I told you that I need it for a friend of mine. But I've accepted an advance. That's your worry. Don Giro, this'll ruin me. 
This evening, you'll deliver the wheat. Get going. But the poor guy really did sell that wheat. I know. But he's going to do what I tell him to do. I... Two of us, we owe you 320 liras. No hurry about it. Oh, good morning. Where's Papa? He's still with the Baron. You never know how long these business meetings will last. Hey, you, wake up. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Here's a very special customer. Oh, good morning, miss. May I help you? I'd like a box of lady needles, number three. Right away. How much? 20 lira. Would you do me the great honor of accepting something? No, thank you. I have to go and meet Carmela. We're both going home with Papa. We'll come along with you. Won't they even give us a loan on the next harvest? We haven't paid up the last one yet. Well, then you're telling me that I'm ruined. I just wanted to explain the situation. I swear there's nothing I can do. Ruined. Finished. At the mercy of a bunch of people who would have been glad to pay for the honor of walking in that door. Uh, what is there for a man to do in my position? Well, land is always land. And you can always try and sell it. Sell my land? This estate has been ours for 400 years. By our coat of arms, it great as the town gates and is on every single church in the country. Sell the land. Never. Your Excellency, Signor Costa would like to speak with you. Ah, he's arrived. Have him come in. Welcome home, Edward. It seems this world isn't big enough for everybody. He was doing all right in Argentina. Why did he have to come back and stir up a lot of trouble for me? It would have been better for everyone if he'd have stayed put. What do you know about it? I've already heard plenty of talk around the town. It's good that things have changed since then. Well, Stalina, shall we go home? Yes, Papa. Let's go. Good afternoon, Don Sebastian. Goodbye. I'm at your service. What's wrong, Father? Costa's son just came back from America. How can I possibly try to protect your interests? I'm afraid that sooner or later, I'll have to sell out myself. I thought of you first, because the land was yours to begin with. Now there's only Tony. But I want to be sure he's protected. Who knows if I'll ever come back. Oh, he'll always find people to help him. During these few years, heaven only knows how many things have turned upside down here. Have a talk with my attorney. Tony knows him well. Poor old Tony. He hoped so that I'd stay on. However, I won't leave until I'm sure he's well taken care of. Of course. When are you leaving? Oh, in about a week at the latest. Good morning, Papa. Oh, Elena. This is my daughter, Eduardo Costa. You may not remember him, but you knew each other as children. He's the son of Diego Costa. Yes, I know. I've heard a lot about your father. If you were staying on, I would have made you a proposal. You could run everything for me. Maybe Diego Costa's son is just the man we need around here to straighten things out. <laughs> I don't think that I deserve such a trust, but I admit that had I imagined that you would make me such an offer, I wouldn't have bought a round-trip ticket. <laughs> and they told me that in America, the men aren't flatterers. 
but I'm Sicilian. And like all Sicilians, you want to go away. You should talk. You're in Sicily two months a year. <laughs> a traitor. <laughs> Again, Baron, thank you. And goodbye. I'll be seeing you. See you soon. I hope so. Why do you always go around with a gun in your hand? Uh, if you had to live in this place, you'd even put it under your pillow. You think so? Only, of course, you don't know how to use it. Uh-huh. Excuse me. What for? Throw it in the air. In the air? Throw it. <laughs> Rosalie! <laughs> one can see you can take care of yourself. <laughs> don't you worry, I'll buy you another oh, one. Oh, forget it. Where are you going? I'm going into town. The lawyer's waiting. At your service. What do you want? To say good morning, first of all. What do you want? I told you to say hello. And then ask a favor of you. There's an empty seat near you, if I'm not mistaken. With your permission, I'll accompany you. I'm very sorry, but I don't need company, as you know perfectly well. Excuse me. <laughs> Stop it. Leave my horse alone. Are you afraid? Let go, I tell you. Go away. Go away! What's the matter? Has something scared the horse? No, there's nothing, thanks. I know horses like I do women. I know how to handle it. Well, good for you. Well, may I have the honor of riding with you? I already told you I can't. You must forgive me. What's wrong? Haven't you got a horse? Yes. I have, but he's lame. If that's the case, I can lend you mine. You can return it at your convenience. That's very kind of you, but I don't want to trouble you. I just asked the young lady. Oh, it's no trouble at all. I already said I didn't want to disturb you. You're not disturbing anyone. It's no trouble at all. But it wouldn't be polite to refuse his offer. Don't you think? Come along. Come along, Don Ciro. I'll go with you. That way I can bring back the horse. He's a good horse. You needn't worry. I'm very sorry that because of me you've remained on foot. Oh, no. It's you who must excuse me for having butted in like this. No, no. He's always hanging around, but I don't like him. I've even told him. I keep out of the goings on in the town, but I've heard a lot about him. He isn't so well liked, it seems. He's my brother's friend. Uh huh. So you have to put up with him. You remember the day you gave me the bunny? I kept it for years. Remember? We were so fond of each other. I'd better be getting on. Bye, Stelina. I'd like to see you before I leave. Do you mind? No. Not if you'd like to. See you soon. Yes. Eduardo Costa? Yes. What do you want? We bring your greetings from Don Ciro Sully. Mm. 
Thank you. We've come to ask you a little favor. That return ticket to Argentina, do you still have it? Why? Do you care? The air is healthier there. Gets a little stale here at times. Anyway, you're not used to this climate. Better use your ticket. Very good advice. Very kind. Hey, listen. Would you do me a favor? Would you tell Don Chiro Solima that I'll thank him personally tomorrow in the piazza? Good evening, Don Chiro. We salute you. I would like to ask you a favor. If I can. You know so many people here. Do you know if there's someone who'd like to go to America and needs a ticket? I don't get it. I'd be willing to give my ticket without charge. But aren't you supposed to be leaving? No. I'm staying. Oh. I like the climate and such nice people. Uh-huh. Well, if the ticket's no good to anyone... Thanks anyway. Good evening. Good evening. And I hope you'll enjoy your stay. Thank you. I had a feeling it would end like this the minute I saw he was back from Argentina. He sneaked behind our backs. And now the old Baron has made him the boss around here. And what about us? We're under him. We'll take orders from Senor Costa. I, who have never had to bow down to anyone what before. What does he plan to do? Why, he plans to change everything. Bring in new tenants. Move them into the old houses. <laughs> Even the Baron has new ideas now. Oh, irrigation, the improvements, and a lot of other nonsense besides. But he did say he appreciates our 30 years of faithful service here. Senor Costa won't be here that long. I forbid you to speak like that. We've already had enough trouble. That Senor Costa thinks he's going to change the world. But he'll calm down, take my word. His father wanted to do the same thing, as I remember. But he calmed down, too, at the end. Unless, of course, he plays his trump card. What might that be? Go ask Angelina, the girl who works for the lawyer. This morning, she came into the store and said that yesterday, the Baron talked with his lawyer for more than three hours. She took them some coffee and heard them talking about Eduardo Costa and Dona Elena. Look out for yourselves. If he marries the Baron's daughter, you'll be plowed under. Before that ever happens, we'll have a few words with the American. No. Words won't help you any. It's no use talking. You've got to act. I'm sure you'll find these will do well. I'm so glad you came to see me. But you shouldn't have walked all that way. We could have brought the chicks to you. I wanted to see your house. Are you happy here? Oh, yes. And Senor Costa is going to build us a new stable, too. He comes by here every morning. Did you know that? I know he's very fond of Pepino. And I know you are always thinking about him. If you weren't, you wouldn't have come all this way just for the chicks. I'd better be getting along. I really must. I'll stay a little longer. No, no, I can't. My father doesn't know that I've come to see you. Carmela! What are you doing in these parts? Well, you took Carmela away. So if I want to see her, I have to come way down here. Oh, Peppino took her away. Carmela, tell your husband when he gets back to stop by at my place. All right, I will. Are you going straight home? No, first I have to go into town.
I've been looking for you. Carmela seems so happy. She says she has the best house of all. <laughs> They're happy with so little. There's still a lot of work to be done there. Are you also going to fix up your house? I'll do it last of all. But just wait till you see it. I'll never be able to see it. But why do you still insist on living in the past? We have our lives ahead of us. Our life's just beginning. You forget it's different for a woman. I depend on my father and my brothers. It doesn't matter how I feel. Won't we ever be able to be together then? Won't I be able to tell you all I want? You know, don't you, Stelina, why I decided to stay instead of sailing? Yes, there's lots to be done around here. But if it hadn't been for you, I probably wouldn't have even noticed. I thought of you always while I was away from you. I love you, Stanley. Oh, I love you. But you'll have to show courage in front of your family. You'll have to make your own decisions. Because if I have to give up hoping for you, maybe it'd be better if I went back. No, it won't. If you mean what you said, I'll have the courage. But don't go away. Well, then don't worry, Stelina. And you'll see what a wonderful house we'll fix up together. You, get in here. They're waiting outside of town. Go ahead, I'll catch up with you. Let's go. What's going on? None of your business. You're crazy getting mixed up in the affairs of the overseer. I'm just looking after my interests. I know what your interests are. It's a girl. Don't talk nonsense. This is a little business matter I have to take care of. You're something else again. Go to bed now. Now you've decided to come. What do you want here? 
How could I possibly have known? I was in town. I was with the Baron. Oh, I know. I know you were dining with the Baron. But these poor people were here getting killed for you and your newfangled ideas. It's your fault that he's dead. What are you saying, Stelina? I'm saying what everyone says. This is all you've done for me. It's just as if you killed him. Have you gone crazy? What's wrong with you? I know what you're up to. Go away. Go. Go back to her. Take her away from you. And let us live in peace again. So the police have just arrived. No, tell them I'm coming right away. Hello. He prevented you from buying the farm when you had the baron in the palm of your hand. He's taken command of everything. He's even taken your job away. The dead man was one of the baron's farmers, and all this naturally makes you his enemies. Any day, the police could arrest your sons, Masato. But everyone knows we were here at home that night. You can never tell what the police are liable to turn up. Besides, will they believe your story? But we haven't done anything. They couldn't. Don't get upset, Masaru Sebastian. I'm with you. We could form an alliance. If your family would join up with me, we'd command respect from the world. What do you mean by that? Your sons already know. I have the honor of asking for your daughter's hand in marriage. My daughter? Do you? Why not? Don't you think I'm... You wouldn't want to offend me. Oh, no, Don Shiro, you misunderstand me. I didn't quite expect this offer. Anyway, I will have to think it over. I want to know what my daughter thinks of it. Talk to her. She knows and understands the situation. You'll see. Ask her. Call her. In these times, I think you'll need all your friends. Delina, Don Chiro Solomon does us the honor of asking for your hand in marriage. It would be a greater honor for me if I could accept. It's up to your father to accept. I don't believe that my father would ever force me. It's not a matter of forcing, but you should try to make her see reason. My daughter is reasonable, Don Chiro, and I have never tried to force her. Women are always slow in their reasoning. And in this case, it's better not to waste time. Don Chiro, if my daughter changes her mind, you are more than welcome in my house. For the moment, I have nothing more to say. Good night. Good night, Masaro. We'll speak to our father. Sure. And as for Costa, I'm going to sit with him myself. Let's go outside and talk. I've got plenty of men who follow me without questioning. I'm glad that Eduardo Costa decided to tear up his ticket. Because for the trip I'm sending him on, he won't be needing any. You'd better watch your step. I'll do the thing. You stay here and convince your father which side his bread is buttered on. In an hour, the whole thing will be over.
What do you want? What is he? I must see him. I'm out of the What's the matter? Please, you must hurry. Get out of here. Why? No, I can't tell you. You mustn't ask me. You must go away. Go away. You must leave here now. Go away. Calm down. I understand. They're paying me a visit. I was expecting it, but I'm not going to run away. All the better. Now we clear things up. Oh, Tony. Tony. You tell him. You know what I'm trying to say. Who's coming? What do you know? For your sake and mine, tell me. Are your brothers involved? They're with Don Chiro, aren't they? They haven't had enough yet. But this time I'm ready. It's too late to run away. What do you want? Eduardo. Eduardo, I'm only thinking of your safety. I don't care about anything. I'd rather die myself. Oh, Stelina. Stelina. I love you too. What you're asking is impossible. There's stop at nothing. Leave now. Go away. No, Stelina, no. You don't believe me. I believe you. But I can't run away. But you must. What'll I do if they kill you, darling? Listen, Stelina. My parents were married in this house. And I was born here. People then were poor. And things have gotten even worse now. I must finish my father's work. Continue what he started. There's no turning back now. Don't ask me to betray everything. And don't be afraid. I'll be all right. I know where you're going, Chiro. And I know where you're coming from. I was just going there myself. You'll go nowhere. That's why I'm here. Ah. You came ahead, so he's too scared to come himself. And sends a woman. He knows nothing about this. But I do! Good. You brought him to me. Swear it. Anything could have happened to them on the road. It's 
strange that nobody's here. Nothing's going to spoil this evening. Let's dance, Delina. What do you want? I must talk to you privately. These people are all my guests. You can talk here. Then I call on you to witness what I say. If you love your daughter, you won't permit her to be unhappy for the rest of her life. Have you gone crazy, Costa? I know why she said she'd marry you. To save me. She wrote I wanted to kill me. To stop him, she agreed to marry him. That's enough out of you. Massaro, for your daughter's sake. You mustn't let this thing go any further. Wait a minute. Did you hear what he said? Swear by the memory of your mother. Is it true? Is it true, Stalina? It's true. And you believe what this yellow dog says? I believe my daughter. And you, you rat, if you're not a coward, defend yourself. Let us Solima, I don't ever want to see your face again. Is that clear? I've been too patient with you. You'll pay for this. And you'll pay well, too. I'll be waiting for the bill. You won't have to wait long. I'll be here. Come back whenever you like. And you? We're staying with our father. Get out. Then come to. Stay where you were, Tony. This house is your house now. They'll be coming back soon. May I help you welcome the Masaro? the others. Sure. Where are you going? What's it to you? Where are you going, Chico? Don't stick your nose into my business. For heaven's sake, be careful. You'll find out what I'm going to do soon enough. The Sebastians won't get off so easy. I'll make them sorry they double-crossed oh, me. Oh, Chico, please, listen. Think of what you're doing. Let's go away from you. I'll go with you. Shut up and stay. <laughs>
What are you doing here? Don't run, Chesco. You must help me. What's going on? Chiro Solima! Eduardo! Eduardo! Stop! Stop where you are! You crazy for heaven's sake! Go back in the house! No, I won't leave you! Go back in the house! Hurry up! No, I'm staying with you! Wait! Wait! Listen to me! Don't shoot! Let me talk to you! I don't talk to the wrong end of a gun. Drop your guns. Come on. So you want to be together? Then I'll let both of you have it. Don't shoot her. She's out of this. Shiro, don't be a fool! We'll get you for this! Shoot me if you like. But remember, it'll be the end for you. Who do you think will defend you? Huh. I've always been able to take care of myself. Without anybody's help. Shiro! Huh? What are you dirty? turned over to the law. will be better from now on. Masaro. On behalf of Diego Costa, I have the honor of asking for your daughter's hand. My Eduardo. The 
on earth is mine